I'm the Peter in Chongqing, and you're watching the hardest working channel in China. Today, let's go see some animals. A very old and wise American once said, despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. What that means to me, before I maybe read a few books, is that, uh, Religion and government and family are all fam they're all constructs of society. And I used to love the zoo when I was a kid. Maybe not so much anymore. It's weird to say that because I think a lot of people think that means you hate animals. And it's not animals. Always liked animals. Once you're old enough to start to realize what a zoo is and you make those connections to uh, what what's going on in your life, what who tells you what to do and when you get fed. Things get a little scary. But then you start to realize that like, maybe it's not so bad to be part of society. Maybe being looked at and having people like appreciate you is, you gotta live somewhere, right? Sitting around getting fed for entertainment's not a bad life. That's kind of what I do here on YouTube. Which is not to say that we get paid by the government or anybody else, except for YouTube a little bit, but like but only pennies to do this. It's mostly like straight out of our pocket. So please like and subscribe as we're headed off to the herbivore zone. <laughs> Keep watching until the end of the video for more hot panda action. There's a lot of pressure to do stuff when you're an animal in a zoo just like real life. These herbivores, as much as they're taking a bath, stink like hell. Do you wanna learn some Chinese? Mm, maybe. This is what every child has been saying as they pass by. They're saying, which means it stinks. Ah. <laughs> that's them. You think it hurts their feelings? I think that's why they're hiding under the water. It's tough to live in a zoo. I'm gonna take it back about the hippopotamus. Maybe it's not them that stinks. Maybe it's these guys. The sign for these guys says, please observe social ethics. And so far, they seem to be pretty polite. Things are going well and they're not uh, upset in the crowd at all. We've only been to well, we went to the Panda Reserve in Chengdu, and that was like, I mean, that's kind of like going to like the doctor's office of pandas. It's not super exciting. And it's actually kind of hard to watch the pandas there. Here, it's pretty easy. And then I got to imagine like, well, the other place we went is Luzhou, and I, best not to talk about that. 13 years ago, small town zoo. I don't want to mention anything. But... Don't go to a small town <laughs> zoo. <laughs> but here, this guy, I got to wonder, those are apartments like back behind there. That's a heck of a view to wake up to every morning. Imagine if this was your neighbor. I think I know this guy. He runs a hot pot joint right around the building from us. The Chinese word for elephant is toilet. These are just little horses, adult little horses, but they sound a little more exciting and exotic when you call them a Chinese pony. Zebras seem really cool, but they're all style and flash. There's like no substance to it. This is the first zoo to have an art installation by the, uh, I think it was made by a giraffe. Just in case you're wondering, this is definitely the Chongqing Zoo. You can tell by all the stairs. I don't love being part of the system, but I've come to just realize that it's just easier if I just stay inside. I've never been to Australia. I, uh, I wonder if this guy has either. You can tell that these uh, kangaroos are Chinese because you can see the kind of style house that they live in back there. Very Chinese, traditional. These guys stink and they're ugly and nobody loves them. Nobody, there's nobody here. We've seen the pandas and the herbivores and we still need to see the tigers and the birds and the fish. 
I'm exhausted already. The public seems to be relatively allowed to roam free. Uh, they can go single, but a lot of them tend to stay in packs. But it's safe, mostly. Careful. The important thing to remember about the Pandas area is that we are in Chongqing and they have air conditioners. <laughs> It's a big butt. It's ice cream or something. Ice cream butt. There's like little mango intestines. <laughs> it's easy once you get to the fish because no one gives a damn. Let's go. These free floating aquariums look pretty cool for the fish. Maybe gives them a sense of freedom, but it, I think it's probably more cruel that they can see the actual pond. Look, there's more goats down there. I don't know why they get like a better shot. And they must be better goats. There are no apes! This is where I'm moving to. I'm gonna live in the zoo. This is my new caged area. I found civilization! There's a city right over there! As a person who doesn't much like to see animals caged, I gotta give the, the CQ Zoo um, a good thumbs up. I am enjoying myself a lot. We're, I think we're gonna miss... We're, the, oh, there's a pigeon over there. But there's... We missed the birds, but who cares about birds? Um, we flew through the fish. No one cares about fish. Uh, the monkeys are hard to see because they're behind glass. They get uh, no spitting. China has a huge bird problem. They're freaking giants. We did find the birds, but what are you gonna do with like a bird exhibit? You get like they're gotta be like put away. You give them a chance, they're gonna fly. Can these birds fly? They're flight risk. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently you can go inside here. I don't know why you would, except for it's air conditioned. I think that's more for the birds benefit than yours. They're probably cold weather birds. Cold weather birds? So it's as much of a, a nice park to spend the day, as well as see a myriad of animals, a cornucopia. Uh, we miss the predators. Um, not gonna come back for that anytime soon, but I might come back just to like relax for the afternoon. See these like redheaded mallards. How much did it cost to get in here? It's 25 kwai per adult. 25 bananas. You can feed them all to the monkeys. Well, the park's getting closed. They brought out the jackhammers. The construction's starting to happen. You know what they say about uh, China? If it's uh, with construction, if it's not now, it's never. Pandas don't seem to mind. You can see a little, he's right there. Can you hear him? Can you hear the panda? You know what he's saying? Subscribe, like, comment. We need comments for engagement. You want to engage with a panda, right? Can you hear the panda say subscribe?